Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this weather community. I see it. I do appreciate it. All right, several things out there. This here on the eastern Pacific side, Tropical Depression 11 hitting the same area that has been hit uh, I think uh, it's been week after week, just the last few weeks with so many tropical systems. A disturbance riding its way through the Caribbean into the Gulf. This here, of course, is Kirk, Hurricane Kirk. And the one I really want to keep an eye on at this point is uh, Leslie. That may track a little bit more to the west. So for us in the Caribbean, I want to show you some of the scenarios with that. Not that anything's coming at us right now, right? We're in pretty good shape. Uh, but I just want to show you what I'm watching with that. This little spin up here near Bermuda, that's some of the remnants from Helene. Now, Kirk, by the way, is going to make its way up somewhere uh, in parts of Europe, eventually as a big windmaker. It will stay off to the east of Bermuda, so good news there. Here's Kirk. Kirk is a powerful system. Uh, by the time it gets into the North Atlantic, it'll lose its tropical characteristics. But yes, this is going to be a big windmaker for friends in parts of uh, Western uh, Europe, uh, Europe as we get down the road. And then this here, not super organized back behind it, this is Tropical Storm Leslie. I don't expect it to be super organized over the next day or two, uh, especially with Kirk up here. But once Kirk kind of clears out of the way and takes its overall atmosphere away, that will allow this uh, to kind of feed off of more of the moisture in the atmosphere. And then initially, initially it's going to start to take the turn much like uh, Kirk, right? But then that front that's catching Kirk moves by and then that will allow Leslie to move a little bit more back to the west. And that's why I mentioned us in the, the uh, Caribbean. I do want to watch that one. Confident Kirk is making the turn. It already is. Uh, but the one behind it, I want to show you some of the differences here. So let's just cover that right off the bat. This is the American model. I want to show you the difference though with the European model. And I want to show you how strong Leslie can get uh, down the road. Now we'll get into some of this rain in the Gulf of Mexico coming out of the Caribbean. Uh, but as we go out on time here, this is on Sunday and you can see again Kirk making its, its way away, staying well to the east of uh, Bermuda. And there's what's left of Kirk. And you see getting closer to Europe as we get into next week. But there is Leslie. The first thing with this one is it is going to strengthen. The second thing, it won't make as quick of a curve. Now the American model does have it curving sooner, but the European model, not as soon. And that's why I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not looking at this uh, just quickly going out to sea necessarily. I hope it does this. This would be a very similar track to what we see with Kirk. This is about a week from now. But as we flip things over, uh, let me take you out in time with the European model. Now, here we are in the Caribbean, right? Here's Kirk right in here, and this is the setup. So this is what I'm looking at. I look at the models, but I also look at what's going on in the environment. Here's Leslie back behind it. Here's the coast of Africa. So we have these two named systems. Now, what's going on with Kirk? Well, we have these blockers, these areas of high pressure, these blue H's, these are blockers. They don't allow anything to escape, but they've kind of, they're have kind kind of of they kind off to the east and west. So this has an alleyway to sneak in between and lift up to the north. So the blockers are away. That allows Kirk to move up to the north, and that's why it's escaping. High pressure is not blocking it. Uh, that will allow that to go up to the north. So going out in time, here we are in the Caribbean, Barbados, Trinidad, Antigua, Barbuda, Dominica, St. Lucia. So Kirk there, and this is Leslie. Now, uh, both models show it getting stronger. All the models show that. The Canadian, the German, all the other models show it getting stronger. Here we are in the Caribbean. Now, what I'm watching out for is what's going on well back to the West. We, we need another front to come in here. Uh, once a front comes out of the U.S. and crosses the Atlantic, I'm hoping this front speeds up to be able to grab this and turn it because you see the European model. It's having a more westerly track, and that's why I'm not saying that this is definitely going out to sea. The American model did have that. It, it may happen, but the European model and a few others kind of drag this a little bit more to the west. Not that it's coming to us, say in Anguilla, Antigua, Burbuda, St. Kitts, and Nevis, but it could be a closer approach. Here's that front right here. I need that front to speed up. If this front stays on time or speeds up, it will eventually turn this before it comes near us in the Caribbean. But if for some reason this front slows down, this may allow itself to move a little bit off to the west. You see the blockers, they've moved away. Here's an area of high pressure here and here. So it does give this an alleyway. Uh, it won't take the first alleyway, but it'll take the second alleyway to escape. So that's, that's what I'm hoping, but you clearly see the European model has my attention. 
a closer approach. Uh, this here is as we work our way into, this is next weekend, not this upcoming weekend, but next weekend. So a long go with this. And then we need to see if high pressure builds in again. Does it kind of start to curve out and the curve back? Not sure, but this is one to monitor. All right, Kirk is safely going to make the curve. It already is, uh, but Leslie can get a little bit closer. So watching these fronts, I'll be timing them out as we go forward. I hope that made sense. I don't want to get too sciencey or anything like that, but, but just know that I'm watching uh, everything behind the scenes. So there's Kirk. It'll be to the east of Bermuda by a good measure as a major hurricane winds right now are at about 120 miles per hour, could increase to 130 miles per hour, and then that big wind maker in parts of Western Europe. And then you see here, here's a Leslie. It'll strengthen into a hurricane, start to make a curve, and then a little hint back because if it misses this initial alleyway, then it is going to march off to the west and then we just hope it finds another avenue to sneak to the north not that i ever wish anything on bermuda or the atlantic region of canada i'm watching that as well so i don't want i like when these things don't hit land i don't root for storms i want them to stay uh, safely over water so you see here looking at the computer models on the leslie uh, moving more to the west northwest some of the models this is this red line here that's the American model I showed you. That makes more of a curve. These are more like the European, which kind of hint back. Uh, this is the Hurricane Center model right in here that kind of hint back uh, more to the west. So we'll wait and see uh, what happens with that. Now, here's kind of an expanded version of the American model. The black line is uh, the American model showing, hey, this is going to take that curve safely. But then they put these different variations on the same model, and this is what you get. It gives a different output. Point being, you still see some of these uh, models, or I guess uh, variations of the uh, model, bringing it closer to us in the Northeastern Caribbean. So nothing is coming at us right now, uh, but Leslie is one to just monitor, and here's why too. Over time, it is going to strengthen. This is one of those crazy maps. This is 24 hours out, so a day out two days out, three days out, four days out. By four days out, a lot of this, uh, a lot of these models are in this uh, orange or yellow shading, which would make it a category one or category two hurricane. So in about a day or two, we are gonna see some significant strengthening on uh, Leslie. Now closer to home, we've been watching some of the rain and storms that have been around here, the Cayman Islands as expected. That's that flare up of moisture. Uh, this here, more tropical systems, just hugging the southern coast of Mexico. And then you see the rain building as well, feeding into the Bay of Campeche, into the Western Gulf. So watching this area, I'm not seeing signs of development. I mentioned, I think five days ago now, that I was leaning to the European model. So far that's been right in this scenario uh, because there's been a lot of wind shear in here. So short term, not much development out of this area. Just seeing that rain for us from parts of the Caribbean lifting into the Gulf of Mexico. This is this weekend. But anytime you get rain sitting over the Gulf, Caribbean, or Atlantic this time of year, we do, of course, watch out for development. We're still in the peak of the hurricane season. This here is by Sunday. There could be a spin up in here, but as of now, almost all the models are not showing that. We'll see We'll see how tomorrow shakes out. But you see here by Sunday, just a lot of rain in through here. Elsewhere, we'll see some of those scattered showers and storms. So an area we're watching, uh, but not of super high concern. Uh, just another spot watching that moisture from the uh, Caribbean lifting into the uh, Gulf. Fortunately, things have been playing out better uh, with that scenario. This here though, here's Guatemala. Here's uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. Here's Belize, El Salvador, Honduras. Uh, this here is Tropical Depression 11. Same spot John was hanging around for days and days or a similar spot. There's been so much rain in this area. It's been crazy the last couple weeks. And I know this has been overshadowed. Our friends in southern Mexico, we were thinking of you with just enormous amounts of flooding that has been ongoing over here. It's just been so, so much rain. Now here's today. Here's some of the scattered showers in the Cayman Islands. Cuba, some of this lifting up, right? I mentioned yesterday, western Cuba and even parts of central Cuba, the rain chance is going to be higher as this moisture feeds to the north. There's Kirk on the uh, top right hand side of your screen. Here's all that rain in the Gulf of Mexico. Not seeing any signs of a spin up at least over the next few days, at least over the short term. Hit or miss showers and storms elsewhere. This is as we work our way into our Saturday forecast. Now the area that's going to work its way into the Gulf of Mexico on Sunday, it's the wind shear that is preventing development. That's different from the scenario with Helene. Remember, Helene was in the same area, lifted to the north, and of course, uh, we know what happened with that. So many deaths in the uh, hundreds and parts of the southeast uh, United States. Well, the wind shear wasn't there, and that allowed it to really intensify. In this scenario, 
There's a lot of wind shear winds above our head, way above our heads, zooming by, knocking off the thunderstorm top. So while development is still possible, it's not as likely. And even if something were to develop in the Gulf of Mexico, it should be slower and it should be kind of a weaker scenario. Just watching the rain as of now that will be building up. So Kirk and Leslie are out there not writing off Leslie. So in the Caribbean, we are watching it. I want to see if it does start to make its uh, turn back toward the west. After that, Milton, Nadine, Oscar, Patty, hopefully the season will shut off, but uh, the water temperatures are so very warm that October has started so active. October usually can be very, very active. Uh, and that's where we are now. And it looks like it will stay generally that way, at least for the next uh, few weeks. But we'll take it storm by storm together. Sea's not bad, Gulf and Caribbean. This is on Sunday, but you see the swells working in, the elevated seas across the Atlantic. The Atlantic is going to be a mess with two systems out there. Of course, that means those higher seas. And then even in the Gulf of Mexico, as this rain builds and something tries to develop, and there's a front nearby from the Gulf stretching all the way back through the Bahamas, uh, the water is going to be on the choppier side. Now, Atlantic region of Canada, Bermuda. Yes, watching these, Kirk is fine. Kirk stays to the east, not so fine, thinking of others down the road. Some of our friends in uh, parts of Western Europe, we'll see what kind of uh, path that does take as that works up there. But this is on our Friday. So uh, Newfoundland, uh, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, uh, New Brunswick, and you see a Quebec, a couple showers with a little front moving by. Uh, no threat from Kirk. That second area, we're going to watch though, because if, if Leslie does take a curve near the, uh, say near the Caribbean, it may get closer to Bermuda or the Atlantic region of Canada. Hopefully these fronts, you get a lot more fronts this time of year, and that sometimes is the saving grace. On the flip side, sometimes that could pull something uh, right into our direction. So as far as the rain goes, you see some of the extra rain here. Here's Western Cuba lifting up into the Gulf uh, near the Cayman Islands. We'll see some totals Western Cuba that could clip over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain over the next three days. So uh, a few day total right there. Cayman Islands, you see some of these purple 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain possible, especially over toward a West, uh, West Bay, over toward Georgetown, uh, it, just because uh, that's where we're closer to more of the action. Not so much for uh, Little Cayman, uh, for example. Now, we get it here. Uh, Jamaica, some scattered showers and storms possible for us. Falmouth, Montego Bay, hit or miss Haiti. Couple, especially south side of the Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo, we could get a few showers and storms. Scattered areas of rain and storms possible. Puerto Rico, uh, hit or miss so if we get a shower, lower totals, 10 to 25 millimeters of rain, maybe up to an inch of rain, St. Kitts and Nevis, if we do even get some rain, that goes for Dominica South, Trinidad and Tobago a little bit more. And we've seen that rain chance pick up now. Once again, deeper into the season, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, the rain chance is making a comeback. So watching out for some higher totals. Of course, Southern Mexico right on the coast, very high totals off of my chart, over 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain in scattered areas of rain and flooding, Guatemala. Uh, parts of Honduras and El Salvador, scattered showers and storms, Belize through the Yucatan, and scattered about Nicaragua south through Costa Rica and Panama. Colombia still seeing some areas of rain, especially inland uh, away from uh, the Caribbean. And then you get north of Mexico City dry and still dry, even up through Texas that has been just way, way too dry in so many spots. So Jamaica, we have a 50% chance of scattered showers and storms higher today in the Cayman Islands. Makes sense. We've already seen that with some of the rain around. Rain chance will pick up a little bit, Trinidad and Tobago, as we get into the weekend. Not a washout, but some scattered showers and storms. 50% chance in Barbados. So passing showers possible. 30 to 40% chance in St. Lucia. 40 to 50% chance in Grenada over the next couple of days. And an even 50% chance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Some scattered showers. Martinique, 40% chance the next two days. Goes down a little bit more as we swing to Dominica. We're looking at a 20 to 30% chance. Isolated in Guadeloupe, 30% chance. And hit or miss Antigua, Barbuda, 30 to 40% chance. And know that I'm watching to the east, monitoring Leslie. Same thing, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. And only a 20% chance today in Guilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance, 20% the next couple days. St. Martin, St. Bonstatia. Scattered about those, we get toward Puerto Rico. We could get a few downpours. We could get a couple thunder storms around. Let me know in the comments if you get one. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a passing shower, 30 to 40% chance. Bahamas, not a lot today, 40% chance for tomorrow, 
30 to 40 percent chance Turks and Caicos, but again, that passing of variety of a shower. 20 percent chance today in the Dominican Republic, but a 40 percent chance tomorrow and Saturday favoring southern sections. Haiti, we're mainly dry, small chance of a shower and we're hot. 30 percent chance hit or miss shower or thunderstorm in Belize. It's not going to be widespread for us, but Ladyville, Hopkins, we may get one or two. Rain chance stays small, Aruba, Curacao, and uh, Bonaire, but the last few days we have had some showers uh, nearby, so rain chance is roughly 20, maybe 30 percent, 40 to 50 percent chance climbing in Guyana, and it's starting to get higher as well in Suriname. Giving you that heads up. Best chance of rain Cuba, western end, and into our central sections with that moisture pulling in uh, from uh, the Caribbean. Costa Rica, rain chance goes down some, uh, Panama as well, about a 50 to 60 percent chance by Saturday. 50 percent chance in Nicaragua, 50 percent chance today in Honduras, a 60 percent chance tomorrow, uh, especially in our western uh, areas, Guatemala and El Salvador, 50 to 60 percent chance the next couple days. Mexico City, not a ton, isolated shower storm. Scattered about though across the uh, Yucatan, be it on the uh, west side or east side, Merida back through uh, Cozumel, Cancun, hit or miss showers and storms. Same thing in uh, Colombia in northern Venezuela. We'll watch out for some passing showers and storms. Rain chance a little higher tomorrow as we work our way into Bermuda. So yeah, an active October. Let's just hope things stay away. That's what I'll be tracking for you. The disturbance from the Caribbean lifting its way up to the Gulf. Still some development possible. Hurricane Kirk is curving, but then Leslie, that's the one that may initially curve, but I want to see if it swings back to the west. And if it does go to the west, I'll know at that point if it is going to be a threat to us or if it'll curve again. I just need about two to three days on that to see if it kind of misses that initial curve. And that's what I'll be watching for you. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Be safe and have a good rest of your day.